Give it up for Bill Valenti, everybody. Yeah. Well, I have to give a shout out to all the people who make this wonderful, wonderful experience at uh, Metolius House on Metolius possible. Brad and Beth and Drew and Tomo and everybody else. But a, a special shout out to Kyle, the sound engineer here. Okay. Because I came up today and I, I showed him my little prop here, which is a 1930s vintage Underwood typewriter. And he said, oh yeah, I know how to mic one of those. Where else on earth would you find somebody who has experience micing typewriters, right? right? So Kyle, you, you totally rock, <laughs> totally rock. Where would you find someone who would bring one? You know, well, I have to, this is not mine. I, I borrowed it from a guy in, in Portland uh, at a place called Typespace. A shout out to Tony at Typespace. If you're interested in vintage uh, typewriters, Typespace in Southeast Portland is the place to go. So, all right, so um, I'm, I'm doing this uh, as kind of a spoken word thing tonight because, uh, you know, after five o'clock, my voice doesn't sound so good as a singing voice. And um, so I'm going to be doing a, a, little, a little poem here. And I'm going to be accompanied by my good friend, Mr. Dale Jones. Another year gone by, and I'm still here, chasing rainbows and drinking beer, whiskey too, truth be told, soothes the aches and pains of growing old. Hell, I've seen a thing or two, mostly sunshine, sometimes the blues. I took some chances, I paid the price. Played my cards and I rolled the dice. But it's all good. It's all fine. No regrets as I head for the finish line. And it's all right. And it's mostly true. Just ignore all the crap that makes you blue. I lived in Paris a long time ago. I learned to parlay some Francais, and don't you know, I met my sweetie there, and she's still here. Still thinks that I'm worth keeping after 50 years. And that, that's the truth, yeah. And then I joined the army, and that was really a hoot. They taught me Chinese. I didn't have to shoot. And when I got out, I got a real nice gig. Working at a, Wall, at a Wall Street bank felt pretty damn big. I traveled the world from end to end. Had a taste of many cultures, made a lot of friends. Now I live in Portland under sunny skies, slowing down as I ponder my demise. Then I took up songwriting as you can plainly see. <laughs> I write a lot about how I think this world should be. Maybe nobody listens, but I still play. Still think that I might change the world that way. And it's all good, and it's all fine. Though the road ahead's much shorter than the road behind. And it's all right, and it's mostly true. Just ignore all that crap that makes you blue. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. You ready? You ready? You ready? Ding. Did you get the ding? 